Hey guys, so I forgot to film this little introductory part. I changed my clothes as you can tell. But this is the second part of my collection video. So if you want to see the first part, then I might add an annotation here. So you can click on that and then come back to this video after you see the first part. If not, I'll leave it in the description at the very end. So yes. Um, thank you for watching, and I hope you enjoy. And yes, I plan on doing a review of it. <sighs> you know, if you've seen my channel a lot, or if, I mean, this is a very popular bag. The Longchamp Le Pliage Medium. So this is in the color graphite, which was a seasonal color. I got this at Nordstrom Rack one day, and this is the first women's bag that I had. I've put women's in quotations because yes, it's in the women's section. I'm not a woman, but I wear it. So I bought this, it was on sale, and I was with my best friend Becky, and I was contemplating getting this because I've always loved totes, and this is a, a tote within itself. It is just a gaping tote. It whole it doesn't have any structure to it. It doesn't um, have any. It has a single pocket here. That that little pocket. The rest is just a free for all. And then the best thing is that it folds up together if you're not using it. So, I was kind of contemplating buying it because I wasn't sure if I'd actually wear it. And I wasn't really too confident in myself wearing this. It doesn't come with this. This is, um, some, this is an attachment that I added. It usually just, it usually comes like this. So anyway. I wasn't very confident um, in buying this bag because I wasn't sure how others would perceive me, a guy wearing a bag like this. But I ended up buying it anyway because I wanted to push myself. Because I, I wanted this bag and the only thing stopping me was what other people would think of me. And so in that store, I took a long hard think and I ended up realizing that I shouldn't care what other people think about what I do. As long as I'm not affecting you, I sh you shouldn't be bothered by me. I'm a guy who wears bags. I wear men's bags, I wear women's bags. If you don't like it, I'm sorry. If, you lo if you're all for me, thank you. Because I just think it's crazy to think that Men aren't allowed to wear bags. So I rationalized my decision to purchase this bag and I, this is the, I'm never gonna sell this because this is the bag that, whenever I wear this bag, I always remember the time in the store where I was okay with myself and I decided to take a risk, and I'm, it's a risk that I'm very glad that I took. So yes, and then this is going to get its own separate video, which I'm going to be filming a lot today. So you're probably going to see me in this um, outfit a lot. So anyway, this whole bag is going to get its own review. I'm just going to push that over here. Next, I got this Michael Kors bag. I got this off of eBay for like $40. It, it had, I have the um, Michael Kors little circular medallion thing, which if you watch my keychains, bag charms, and hang tags video, I think that's what it's called. It's one of those. It's those three things, but in a different order probably. You'll know that, that that's where this is from. This is just a very simple canvas bag leather trimming and like a ro and rope um, 
accents, wrap handles, wrap, hand, wrap handles, rope handles. Inside it has a medallion print. It has two pockets. On the one side it has a zip pocket and then two more pockets. It also has a key finder. So this is the total size of it. And it also has a pocket on the outs on like the inside. So if you're holding it like this, it's towards you. One of my favorite things about this is these metal aglets. They're called aglets, like the shoelace, the thing at the plastic tip at the end of the shoelace, that's called an aglet. These are aglets. Um these are metal, they're not. I hear that? These are metal and they're embossed with micro cores. Now, see, I'm not, I, as I probably said in another video, I'm not the biggest fan of micro cores. And I'm not going to go into that too much. But this is a bag that I've, ne it's not like any other bag that I've ever seen. So that's why I decided to get it. And it was um, relatively cheap. And I thought I was going to use this all summer long, which I didn't. Um, I don't really regret buying it. But because my mom will definitely use this if I give it to her. But it's a perfect bag for just carrying a couple things around. Like if I want to have something that's a little bit more fashionable, not fashionable, if I want something a little bit more summery than the Longchamp, which is not really a summery color, this is like a bright navy. So yes, that's what this bag is. And I've seen other Michael Kors bags that are similar with this. I think it's called like the Maritime. And it has these ropes, but it doesn't have this on the end. And I like this. This, I think, makes it exquisite. This, not, yeah, I, I would say exquisite. This is a good touch. It's not plastic, it's metal, and it has embossed Michael Kors on it. It's very nice. And I don't see any fraying happening, which with the other ones, I feel like I would because I think, I don't even think they have caps on them. And see, these even screw in, so they're definitely assured. And then the last bag, like handbag, I guess you could say, even though it's a cross bag, is my Dunienberg Ginger. If you're watching this video, you've probably already seen my Dunienberg Ginger review because that is by far my most popular video on my channel. If not, you should watch it. Um, just, it should either be on one of the sides or anything, or maybe at the end I'll have that in there. But yes, this is the Dunienberg Ginger. I'm not gonna do a full review on it. It's very small. I bought this, and this is my first crossbody. Even though I had that fossil one, this is my first women's crossbody. Love the color of it, has a keeper in it. I go into more detail in the review. So watch that if you'd like to see more about the Dooney and Burke Ginger. So those are all of the nicer bags. I still have um, some bags that I'm just gonna review very quickly that are just more for luggage and stuff. So the first one that I wanna say is this one, don't mind the stains. These are, I've been using this for camp the last three years. This is just an American Eagle. I guess it's called a bucket bag? I don't know. It's like a rucksack. Who has the um, backpack straps? But it's just opening. Just a big opening. And I like this. This, fit, this is perfect for camp because it just whoosh, cinches up. It's perfect. Color is definitely different. And that's the only really time I use this is if for going to camp, which is might be when you're seeing some of the other videos because I'm going to see if I can schedule uploads while I'm at camp. We'll see. So yes, so that's this bag. I'm not even going to review this bag. It's just a backpack. You don't need a review on a backpack. And then the next are my Land's End bags. My Land's, this one I got from work. Um, they celebrate Hanukkah. And they bought this for me as a Hanukkah gift. <laughs> and she asked me, she was like, so what do you want 
um, for Hanukkah. And I said, what? And she said, yeah, I'll get you something. And I'm like, oh, okay. And she was telling me how she was buying one of these for herself. And I was like, oh, like, would it be okay if you got me one? She's like, oh, sure. So I went home and she let me figure out which color I want and the embroidery. And I ended up going with, I believe this color is chocolate, because I just wanted, I didn't want black, I didn't want navy, I just wanted something that was different. And this was a seasonal color from what I remember, because I haven't seen it on the website since. And then I got Ty's stuff, because Tyler's stuff wouldn't um, fit. But this embroidery actually glows in the dark, which is kind of cool. It has this nice big um, bag, bag pocket on the front. It has one, two, three, four pockets on the inside, plus a key holder. This is the medium open tote. And I'm going to do a review on this and then the next two bags that you're going to see all in one. So then that way you can see what comes next. And then I bought these two at the same time. This is the large zip up tote. It is the same inside as the medium, but it's just bigger. This one I got my monogram. Those are my initials T L N. This is in the true navy color. <coughs> Excuse me. <sighs> Sorry about that. I use this for luggage. If I'm not, if I don't need a suitcase or anything, perfect. Because, oh, <coughs> Sorry. Yes, this is a very durable bag. It stands up by itself. I use this if I am just going somewhere for the night. Like if I'm going over to my friend Becky's house for the night, if I'm spending the night over my grandparents' house, what have you. And lastly, we have the extra large zip Land's End tote in True Navy. Oh man. This can comfortably fit a pillow or two, and then like a small blanket, like a cosmetic, I can fit a whole bunch of stuff in here. This is the same deal with the past two. This, I just have a little reusable bag that I can cinch up in here. That's what this is. I'm gonna do a video also of comparing all of these. So yes. That was a, not a comparison, that was just sh showing you of all of the bags that I have. I Now that I'm thinking about it, I, the one bag I do have that isn't here is another Longchamp Le Pliage in the small tote style. But, um, I bought that off of Poshmark and I'm not 100% sure if it's authentic. So I don't want to show it to you because I don't want to show you something that's inauthentic and I honestly don't use it because I bought I got it for really cheap like extremely cheap for a long shot bag used and I'm just there's some things that don't add up and I'll probably I might do a video on that eventually but that's not in the near future but yes, that's, I think the only other bag that I could find, if, if you saw my vlog the other day, you'd know that I lost this. When we had a party, it got stuffed in between, like, um, a piece of furniture and the sofa. So I finally found it right before I found it, when I was filming this video. So yes, those are all of my bags. If you enjoyed this, then keep, then subscribe. So then that way you can see my other videos, like the review of my long, um, my Junie and Burke ginger bag. You can see my small leather goods collection. There's three parts of that, and eventually there will be a fourth. You'll be able to see the reviews that I do on these bags, and if you hit the notification bell, which is, right, I believe, right next to the subscribe button, then you'll get a notification, so then that way you can be one of the first to see my videos. I'm going to add a subscription link. It's either going to be here or here. And it's just going to be a picture of me in, with sunglasses on. And if you click that, then you can subscribe. You click that, and then I think there's a subscribe button. And then you just click that. And then 
there will also be either on this side or this side there will be two suggested videos and I'm not sure which ones I'm gonna put there I might choose put a random one on the top one and the bottom one I might you know, the bottom one I'll probably put my most recent one we'll see we'll see about that so yes thank you all for watching and have a great day